second week of June 2000 and um, 2018 and the week is an emotional week is this the week from the angman so it's a water week and with that energy we have the energy of uh, um, positive situation emotional situation so let's see what we have for you Gemini's on Monday we have the ten of Pentacles a lot of you air sign or having um, financial situation Tuesday we have the ten of cups oh my god you Gemini's are having it then we have the three of ones you're leaving a situation behind and the energy of the star comes out this is beautiful 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 then we have the energy of the four of cups there's no regrets you're just thinking about things of the past with a relationship some of you could have done something in the past to someone in a relationship okay and you're realizing that I'm missing um, that person or I have made a wrong decision or I've done something um, to affect someone else and it is uh, um, basically okay the outcomes for the week is in a strength okay this is the number eight energy it is in a the number 11 energy it is in a strength so the outcomes of the week is in a strength and you have um you are going to be really looking for in a strength in um this week okay so what is happening here um it is a week of emotional um emotional situa situation um please remember to listen to the sun moon and rising sign of this reading and please thumbs up um and leave a message about this laying out of this reading because i'm trying to make sure that um it's good to see my face but sometimes it's i prefer that the people see the cards because the message is in the cards okay so let, let, let me know how this works out so as we look at Monday, we have the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. The energy of the Ten of Pentacles, this is the energy of family support, okay? This is the energy of um, a balance coming in your life. But what this is all saying is that um, Monday and Tuesday is going to be two uh, fantastic days. Monday and Tuesday is as if you're finding your inner strength. This could be with financial situation for some people. And for some people, it's with situation that has to do with love. Um, what I'm, I'm, I'm saying before we go forward is that uh, number three and number 10 is going to be the energy vibration of your week. Number three and number 10 is going to be the energy vibration of the week. Uh, the energy of the star is 718 and number eight. And uh, yeah, so... There is a situation that has to do with a family. A lot of you are going to be dealing with either money or the connection. But whatever the situation is in the family, uh, um, it could be that you, the love in your family is unbalanced or you're healing an emotional situation because it's the week of emotional healing. It is a week that you're understanding that you know my family is different from other family they never say that they love me but i guess they do and you are going to realize that it's not that they've never said that they never loved me but it's that they don't know how to show it that could be a situation that is coming up for some of you and you're going to find the inner strength and realize you know i love myself and that is important and i guess they are you know loving themselves for who they are in whatever way it is basically so I can't, I can't um, be stupid by just, you know, blaming everyone and that sort of a thing. I need to start loving myself for who I am. Some of you are going to be connecting with family because some of you are going to be on vacation. Some of you are going to spend a lot of time with family and you're going to be understanding who they are. Okay. Some of you might decide to leave or turn your back on your family. Do not do that okay don't do that it doesn't matter who is this person if your partner can't get along with your family members and that sort of a thing that it wasn't meant to be do not turn your back on your family because I'm seeing this coming up on Wednesday okay Thursday is going to be a brilliant wonderful positive day Thursday because 
um, it is the energy of the star. Now, the energy of the star is the energy of the air energy. So uh, Thursday is going to be positive because what is going to be happening and what is going to be aligning you is that whatever the situation is, you are going to be regaining your balance on a sort of a, a situation that is happening for you. The Four of Cups is wonderful. The Four of Cups is here on Friday. Some of you are thinking about your financial situation and some of you um, have gone out and spent too much. Some of you, you know, come came back from the vacation or it's about to, you know, look at the weekend, the week before that you have given um, um, too much out. Some of you could be thinking, oh my gosh, I've been so waiting for this property or this house from my family and you know when is it going to happen are they going to give it to me some of you are going to be deciding to go find a new property or go find a new house um some of you want to um have a new house um in 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 the countryside it's as if you you're tired of living in the city or you're thinking I have the money, I have the choice, I want to go back to live in the country or in a countryside or someplace where, you know, out of the city. This is a situation that you're having on Friday. But you have the financial um, balance and your family will help you to get that done. The weekend is the weekend of emotions and um, Saturday could be a day that some of you are going out to um, celebrate. It doesn't have to be Saturday. It can be in the week. Um, some of you have decided to leave a situation behind that serves you no more. And it is good that you decide to do that. Okay. The middle of the week or someplace in the middle of the week, happiness and joy. You're going to be connecting with the right person at the right time in the right place. And this is going to be good. Some of you decide to leave an unhealthy situation behind you. And this could have to do with someone that you were in a relationship with. And your, you know, your family, you know, could not get along with this person. And you were planning on leaving um, your family and turning your back on your family. Don't do that. It was, it was just, don't do that. Despite on how the family is in this situation, it is that they are realizing that this person is not in the relationship for the right thing for you. Um, so, um, you know, don't do this. There is celebration that is coming in. There's a happy celebration that is coming in. Whatever the celebration is, it is good because finally a negative situation is in the reverse form. And here you see the energy of the devil. So what I'm seeing for you guys this week, it's going to be um, a week of positive energy, your best days. Remember your numbers is three and 10. Your best days is going to be on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And your number is three and ten. OK, um, I'm seeing the energy of money coming in for some of you. Um, and it, this could be coming from a family situation, it could be family helping you or it could be that you have gotten married and um, you're receiving all these help and situation. I'm using the angels of abundancy and for you Gemini's, it says let go of guilt because I'm seeing the four of cups is someone feeling very guilty. Whoever you are out there that is feeling guilty that you have gotten a property, that you have gotten something um, I don't feel guilty about this situation because what is happening is that, um, you know, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you have done to another and you must go with the love of God and um, unconditional love for who you are. Learn and grow from the past mistakes instead of um, eating yourself up over them. Okay, so stop eating yourself up over things. The Four of Cups is here. So some of you um, 
was eating yourself up over a situation that has long past gone. You just have to ask for divine healing to heal the situation and understand what has been happening, what has been transpiring and understand how um, very important it is um, that we let go of the past and we ask for healing and we ask for something new to come in. Okay, so um, please remember to um, thumbs up, like, share these videos. Let me know how you find the layout and I'm saying to you, namaste until next time. Yeah.